Today we're going to be showing you how to make falafel homes. Brought you by the king of falafel. So first thing first, you should be getting a bag of falafel from your local supermarket. It's usually hard like a rack like this. You take it out of the freezer and you let it out until it gets to that room temperature. Just like this, you'll see how the bags start moving around. Second, we need a pot uh, to fry the falafel with it. Now we're going to use five cups of oil. And then we usually use vegetable oil. We'll do the trick, uh, trans fat free. And we're going to need the machine to do the falafel with it. Usually, uh, a lot of people have it that they could get it in the Middle Eastern store or something like that, it's around. Or since we can't get it everywhere, we get a nice cream scooper that moves back and forth. And I suggest this is the easiest part. Okay, we're gonna start by heating up the oil. Usually my falafel comes in in a bag ready. You have nothing to do, you don't need to do, add nothing. Just pour it in a container like this. And what you do is just move it around, okay? Just move it around with a spoon. No salt. Sometimes some people want it a little bit saltier, but I don't suggest to add anything else on it. Just a simple falafel mix is ready. It's not a regular falafel that you get used to most of the time. The falafel is kind of a greenish. This one more on the ready side. So for the time being, we're gonna wait for the oil to get hot and we start with our fluff also when we are uh, getting ready we need a plate you put a napkin on, uh, on the top of the uh, plate so when you take the fluff out of the fryer you put it in and also we need a strainer to pick the fluff out of the fryer when they're ready so anything any strainer that you get it will work nothing fancy just regular. Okay, I almost forget. You could use a spoon, a flat spoon, a regular spoon. Or actually, just to straighten up, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Now we're getting the oil is hot. If you have a thermometer, you could check it. Preferably to be at 375 degrees. And then to find out if it's ready or not, you take a little piece of the falafel mix and you throw it in there. You see when it starts bubbling like this, that's mean the oil is hot and ready to fry some fluff. So let's go. So here we go. We're gonna that's close it in, scoop some falafel. We're gonna do the spoon just for making it flat. <laughs> and we're just gonna drop it. Make sure. And again. Don't be afraid, just be careful of the oil. You're in. You can practice outside your oil a few times. Like, you know, make sure it's coming out right. Because first you gotta close it in, dip it inside the mix, flatten, and throw it in there. We don't wanna go too many. We'll go like about five or six of them at a time. Flatten and we go. See when it's covered by the oil is always a lot much better. Here we go, we'll put like about five falafels. And you see how the colors start changing over here. See how they start forming. So we're not putting too much oil and the oil is reusable again. When the oil is hot at 375, that's how you get that crust on the outside and it stays nice and moist on the inside. It's ready to be picked up. As you see, it's nice, brownish and crunchy. Throw them on top of the hole. Just wait a few seconds over here. All right. 